All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're here for another workout today at the barn. This is gonna be part of the week two qualifiers for Wadapalooza. Already started to warm up a little bit. I always like to clean up the plates from the last session as part of my warm up for the next one. So just trying to be efficient around here. Uh, before we get into today's stuff, I'm gonna do a quick recap of last weekend. So we had workout one, which is the one I did on my YouTube channel. I did end up redoing it just cause that one's so short. Um, and I really thought I could get a couple more reps, which I did. I got almost 20 more reps on that one. That was my worst finish. I kind of was expecting that though. That's like I was saying last time, typically the stuff I'm not great at, the grippy stuff um, combined with that uh, low skill, medium to short time domain. So that's to be expected. That one was pretty much damage control. Workout two was the bar facing burpees and cleans. I also redid that one. I only did three reps better on the redo. Uh, I didn't feel like my first score was bad, but there was so many people getting clogged up on the leaderboard. Even if you could redo it and get another rep, that was a bunch of points that would get taken off your score and less is better. Three uh, extra reps ended up getting me like, uh, taking like 25 points off my point total on the leaderboard, which was good. Workout three was my best one. It was the shuttle runs and gymnastics. I knew that one was going to be in my wheelhouse for sure. Had a really good finish on that. Didn't have to redo that one. if anyone had to redo that one, I would imagine that'd be pretty bad because there's just with that high volume of pull-ups, chest bar and bar muscle-ups, I'm sure your hands are gonna be pretty jacked up after that. Um, I am going for the intermediate division at Wadapalooza. So the top 20 qualify, go to Miami. At the end of the first weekend, I was in 34th. Good things and bad things come out from that. One, bad thing obviously not in the top 20, not in a qualifying spot going into week two. Good thing though, I did have a bad workout in the first weekend. So if we can be reasonably close and still have a bad finish, um, that means in week two, things line up well, get some good finishes. Then we could potentially make that jump back into the top 20. Um, anything that I would want to do better on those workouts is a long-term thing, getting fitter, uh, getting my grip strength to where it needs to be compared to everything else. I know stuff I'm working on, um, but execution-wise, I feel like I did everything I could on those first three workouts which is all you can ask for in a weekend competition like that. I can't get any fitter over the course of four days. So obviously I do want to be in the top 20. Obviously I want to be in that number one spot. Um, I think anyone who has a chance of going wants to be in that number one spot. But right now it's about making it, um, doing what you can to make it. And if you don't, then kind of learning what we need to do to make it next year. So that's how week one went. Now on to week two, I'm gonna be doing workout six today. So we're gonna dive into the workout specifics in a little bit. Uh, I also did workouts four and five yesterday. They're really one workout, but it's two scores. Starts off with a thousand meter row buy-in. That's your workout four score. Then you complete the rest of the work for your workout five score. Um, probably gonna have to redo that one. So yeah, not really a great set of workouts to come out for me in week two, especially when we need a big week, but it is what it is. I'm gonna start warming up. Shorter the workout, uh, longer the warm up needs to be, and this is gonna be a really quick one. Gonna get into a go wad, put some weight on the bar, start deadlifting, make sure my forearms are warmed up, and then we'll talk about the workout. All right guys, so like I said, we got a short one today, 30, 20, 10, deadlifts at 185 and toes to bar. I think the top time on the intermediate leaderboard right now is like 339. So this is gonna be a fast one. I think the goal of this workout, uh, if you're gonna get a good time, is to be in a position to attack the 20 and 10. So you don't wanna be playing um, defense before you get there. If you can do the 30s unbroken and you can still do that, then fine. This is gonna be a complete sprint for you. I think for most people, you're gonna have to be a little smart on the 30, um, maybe have one or two breaks somewhere um, between the deadlifts and the toes to bar uh, to be able to really attack the 20 and 10. So if you guys watched the announcement video on Instagram, Travis Mayer and Emma Carey did this. Emma broke 20 and 10 on both the deadlifts and toes to bar for the 30. Travis did the 30 deadlifts unbroken and then he did 15 and 15 on the toes to bar. So depending on what kind of athlete you are, you're gonna have to be smart about where you break. It looks really tempting to try and go unbroken on the toes to bar, um, but like I said, this is really about the 20 and 10, how much you can just get those done, attack it, short transitions. I'm thinking 15 and 15 on the toes to bar for the set of 30, 
probably be a good idea. Probably also gonna break the 30 deadlifts. Probably would do 15 to 15 for those two. I'm gonna see how it feels. Um, I haven't done a deadlift workout with 185 in forever. I see the standard for men is usually 225, so gonna have to start warming up a little bit before I figure that out exactly. Um, there's a six minute time cap. I think uh, to be competitive, we have to go at least sub four. I'm gonna get some weight on the bar. Uh, make sure my forearms feel good. Probably get through a couple toes of the bar, but nothing crazy. Don't want to blow my grip up. Let's get started. All right guys, so just finished warming up. I think 15s or maybe even 16 and 14 sounds a little bit better mentally. On the 30s is gonna be the game plan for me. I really gotta be able to hit the 20 and 10 hard. If I blow my grip up on the 30, that's gonna be a setback for me. So I'll still base it off of feel a little bit, um, but I'm probably not gonna stray from that too much. You just gotta go in this one, so. Take some beta alanine to the dome. Get started, just gotta send it, so. I'll see you guys on the other side. Bryson Del Monte, Wadapalooza workout six. That was grippy. Oh, my forearms are on fire. Okay, so I did the, I got carried away. I did the third, I did all the toes of arm broken. I did the 30 deadlifts, 20 and 10. I did the 20 deadlifts, 12 and eight. Whew, I'm okay with that for a workout that plays to my weaknesses, so. Okay, so I was gonna, ah. Uh, I was gonna take the camera off and hold it, but you guys know the feeling. Um, like a good bicep or tricep or chest pump, even a leg pump feels really good. Forearm pumps just hurt. I didn't even, it took me like 30 seconds to get my sweatbands off because I just couldn't pull. I can't even close my fist right now. I'm gonna get these softballs out of my forearm and then um, go over a little rundown. Okay guys, I can finally hold the camera again. There we go. Ugly mug in a frame. Okay, so happens to the best of us. Go in with the strategy, get through the first round. Oh, I feel great, man. And then just ditch the strategy. So I didn't completely ditch the strategy. Uh, I think I still did the best I could have done. Like I think that was a good time for me, but I did the 30 deadlifts, 20 and 10, which I'm glad I didn't go 30 there. Like. It really felt good and I was like, maybe I could just do this, but I played it smart. Um, I think from the time I dropped the, the 20th rep and picked up the uh, 21st, it was like seven seconds or something. It was a quick, uh, quick break. And then I did the 30 toast of arm broken, which is where I strayed from the plan a little bit. But they felt really good and honestly, like I could pick up a deadlift after I drop it in the middle of a set quicker than I'd hop back up on the bar for more toes to bar if I came down. So as soon as I did the 30 toes to bar unbroken, I knew the game plan now needs to be toes to bar unbroken and do whatever you can to do that. So then when I went back to the 20 deads, um, instead of trying to go for those unbroken, I went 12 and eight. I knew that I could do the 20 unbroken, but I also knew that it would probably cost the 20 toes to bar unbroken. Um, the thought process was if I come off the bar on toes to bar, um, my break's gonna be longer than if I just drop the bar quick on deadlift, so. Game plan changed a little bit, but still the same concept, being in the position of attacking the workout, 
towards the second half of it. The 20 toes bar was probably the hardest set total, but the last like four toes bar of the 10 at the end, I thought I was gonna fall off on every rep. I thought I was gonna be in one of those CrossFit fail videos. I, that was really hard to hold on. I've been working on that kind of stuff, so good to see it paying off a little bit. Not gonna be a world record or anything, but that on paper not being a good workout for me, I'm really happy with how I did. So possibly gonna be a video on the other workout from this weekend. I'm not sure yet, I'm gonna see what the scoreboard starts to look like. Gonna see how this weekend shakes out. Um, gotta get back in that top 20. Gonna need some good scores, gonna need some things to go in my favor. So I'll probably update you guys next week um, on whatever happens. Um, but these qualifiers are over this weekend, so should know soon enough. Might see you guys in a couple days for the other workout, if not, probably next week. But thanks for watching. Again, like, subscribe, comment, do all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time.